as our parade continues, we are now in a home in North London and we have a renovation by Dynamic Kitchens. I have Allison with me and of course, you created a dynamic kitchen. You also renovated in a, a bathroom upstairs, which is extraordinary. Wait until you see this renovation here. And you did this in conjunction with Anden Design Build. We did. So do you, where do you want to begin? I was looking at thinking, like, did you have to blow out walls for this? What kind of renovation was this? Was this a big renovation overall? Or? I would call it a big renovation, but it was more of a cosmetic renovation in that we didn't take out um, structural walls. Some interior walls were, they had a lot of angled walls in this house. So a lot of those angled walls were turned to 90 degrees, brought it up to uh, today's fashion. Which is nice, I guess, when you're saying you didn't have to remove any structural walls. That's also probably softer on your pocketbook too. It sure is, yeah. <laughs> yeah because when you get into removing walls, like a, a lot, a lot of renovations, uh, they do want uh, a very open concept. This is not one of those renovations. Um, you know, you save on structural beams, engineering, and so on, so you can focus your pocketbook more on the finishes to the, to the end result. And talking about finishes in the kitchen here, especially Allison, this is a very unique renovation. One, you'll notice we don't have an island, yes. which is very yes. uncommon these days. Yes, it is. Uh, but the homeowner actually pointed out and said the kitchen table has turned into their island, and it's also raised up higher than a normal table would be, so that you weren't, you know, sitting down mm -hmm. much lower than everything else here in the kitchen area. That's right. And you're just you're propped up more, which is a great idea, and to have. The, a matching countertop on it, that's also very unique. Yeah. So when they're not using it as a dinette table, they can take away those chairs, they can fill up that table with uh, food when they're doing entertaining. The uh, clients also have a beautiful pool that is right off of that area, so it makes it really nice for entertaining and it does make it nice for their, their everyday family life too. And so something else I want to point out is you looked out the window, Allison, and that window didn't used to be there. Yes, it didn't. So this was a very closed in kitchen. It was a very closed up house, really. Uh, so it really needed to be brought up, brought up to speed and we need to let some light in. So, I, I mean, I can't even imagine this kitchen without. It's such this a window. great view, yeah. This window alone adds so much natural light and like I said, access to the, the view of the pool. And the homeowner also said that she, they didn't want the sink, for instance, in an island. They wanted the sink facing here, so it's great. You could be doing dishes, looking out, looking at the pool, maybe kids are in the pool, and then you've got this other sink right over here, mm -hmm. and then a wine fridge, and you've got your microwave, and it's nice and tucked away hidden with mm -hmm. plants, and you can have all the things you need, but they're not in the way, so to speak. Yes, and I think that's my favorite feature of this kitchen, is the fact that A, it doesn't have a typical island in it, um, we've swapped that out, like you mentioned, with the large table and this uh, beautiful bar area, which used to ha house the uh, original kitchen sink. I think the homeowners also had said that they just love this open space, just yes. lots of breathing space to, versus having an island here and tight on both sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so then we go up this beautiful staircase mm -hmm. and then upstairs, this blows me away. This is gigantic, mm -hmm. the ensuite in here, or what I call it. I mean, I don't even know what to call this because the bathroom is so huge. Yeah. So walk me through this. You walked in and you've actually, you, you took some space from the bedroom. So the bedroom is huge. Uh, it, it was it was massive to begin with and it, it's a little bit smaller now which is hard to believe because when you walk into the space it's that where the bed area is is still quite large but we actually took out about four or five feet from the original bedroom and moved that wall back so we could gain some uh, room in this in the ensuite bath and then you've removed the older tub yep beautiful bathroom finish here it goes back into you've even got a sauna around the back yeah when we originally started you walked into the to the principal bath and the uh, shower was right as soon as you walked in and then that was accompanied uh, with a good old 1986 corner tub Tiled which tub, yeah. has also been removed with a nice modern standalone tub 
and everything is in there and you've tucked the uh, the shower off you know towards the back around the corner the toilet area is hidden and then you've got this amazing sauna which the bath I thought the bedroom was large but then the bathroom mm. just seems to keep going it and does. going and going down it the does. hall and you yeah. think what's around this corner yeah. now oh a sauna yeah. here you yeah. go it's great yeah so what was your most favorite part of the renovation I like I said before I, I just I really love the fact that this is not not typical to what you see today. Um, the other thing that I absolutely love about this renovation is it's true to the family that lives here. This is a young family, um, it's warm, it's inviting, even though this was just redone, it's all brand new. To me, it, it feels it feels right. It just feels natural. It feels like this was always the way it should be. So that would be my favorite. Okay. And with all of these different unique touches, I'd have to say my favorite was the difference of not having the island and this really interesting, yeah. cool yeah. round table too. So beautiful designs, beautiful yeah. ideas, um, very dynamic. Another dynamic kitchen, of course, with Allison. Thank you so much. And we look forward to more renovations along the London Home Builders Association Parade of Renovations. Thank you for having me.